Hello. Uh, in this video, I want to teach you how to make uh, paper chains for you to use as garlands on your Christmas tree or in any festivity you you want to make your house look pretty. Uh, using uh, paper left over from your Christmas wrappings of last year. Now you can use new paper if you want, but the idea is to recycle that old paper and uh, transform it into something useful. And uh, this is uh, what I'm going to teach you in this video. We have different types of paper. We have uh, this is a aluminum foil sort of paper. Uh, it can be used, although it's very difficult to cut and, and fold, etc. Uh, so we are going to use this, but we, we have to be careful with uh, with how we cut it. We also have common paper that usually is white on one side and has the figures and colors on the other one. Uh, this is very easy to cut and, and fold, and we can make lots of figures with this. I'll show you how now. The first garland I'm going to do is a chain of figures like this one. I'm going to try and make this with this aluminum foil that is so difficult to cut. Now, the first thing we have to do is fold it many times, making sure that the, these folds coincide perfectly and don't move around. They don't separate. Fold them many times. Till we make a rectangle where our figure should fit. Now, this aluminum paper, it's very difficult to draw on it. We can't, it's very difficult to draw a figure there with pencil. So we'll just do the cut as we think the figure uh, appears. We'll try and imagine the figure while we're cutting it, right? We have to hold it firmly with one hand so it doesn't move while we cut the foil. And there we are. We've cut the figure. Now we open it up. And we have a little chain of uh, Father Christmas there hmm? with figures with uh, a design of colors on one side and an aluminum color on the other side. And this we can put it on our tree or hang it around the walls. Hmm. There you are. Now, another type of chain we can do is the following. We fold a common piece of paper, it's white on one side, but it has nice colors on the other side. We fold it in half all along, and we can also fold it this way to make it faster. Yeah. Uh, first, we have to cut alternatively upwards and downwards. Hmm. Now I'll show you. The first cut, I'm going to do it as I'm on the middle here. I'm going to cut up. The first cut will be in the where the fold is. And then all the other cuts will go on and turn it that way. Downwards. Not the cut shouldn't get to the end, just about one or centimeter from the end or half a centimeter. One upwards, one downwards. Also not to the end. And we continue like that all the way to the end of the of the folded paper.
there got to the end now we unfold it first that way now we open it up this other way now all we have to do now is hold the ends and here we have a lovely little chain of colors on one side and white on the other we can hang this on our tree on the wall from one end to the other we can stick another one on the end here and make it even longer and there we have a fantastic chain for your christmas tree or any party you want to have another kind of chain is the following if we have uh, bits of paper not a, a nice uh, length like this but just bits of scrap we can cut them make short lengths and each length we make a circle of it now we can stick the ends there and with that we have a link and we put lots of links one next to the other sticking the ends but we can also do it and we'll make a, a bit longer something a bit longer so it's easier to understand what I'm going to do now for these kind of links uh, this paper should be the paper should be a bit thicker a bit stronger than than this paper that's kind of uh, delicate huh? but maybe even with this paper we can do it we have to cut on the ends at an angle a little cut there right that little cut there the other side you can see it more okay a similar cut on the other side at the on the same side this side up here we cut up here also okay in the other direction towards cutting towards the end then we turn these around and we link them There they are linked and they won't separate. Okay? We can do that with lots of bits of paper and we link them one in the other. And they won't come apart unless someone pulls very hard. Now, if you prefer, you can put a bit of gum there and it'll stay permanent. But this little cut helps you to link them easily, fast and easily. There you are. Here, lots of these together, and you have an enormous chain you can put along the room or on your Christmas tree. Well, uh, I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please give it thumbs up, share it, subscribe, and uh, I'll be putting some more videos up, and come and see them. Um, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.